I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about volume by cylindrical shells. In problem number 15, we'd like to use the shell method to find the volume of the solid formed when the region bounded by y equals the square root of x, y equals 0, and x equals 4 is revolved around the x-axis. So let's just start out by drawing a quick picture and see kind of what we're doing here. Here's my x and y axis. y equals the square root of x is kind of the top half of a parabola that opens up this way. Uh, then we have y equals 0, which is my x-axis. And then I have x equals 4 out here which is just a vertical line. So I get this region, and I want to revolve that around the x-axis. Okay, if I want to use shells on this thing, then I have to think about, okay, how am I going to revolve a piece of this thing to get a shell? And I'd have to take a horizontal line and revolve that horizontal line, and then I get a shell. Well, if I'm taking a horizontal line, then what I'm doing is when I chop this thing up, I'm actually chopping up the y-axis, not the x-axis, okay? So I'm chopping the y-axis up. And remember, when we chop up the x-axis, then the thing inside the integral should be x stuff. When I chop up the y-axis, the thing inside the integral should be y stuff. And that's true whether you're doing the disk method, the washer method, the shell method, it doesn't matter. The axis that's getting chopped is the stuff that goes in the integral. So in this case, I'm chopping the y-axis up, so y stuff needs to be the stuff in the integral. In other words, if I'm using the shell method here, then I'm going to integrate from a y value to a y value. Okay, uh, so where, what y value do I start chopping at? That's certainly at zero. And where do I stop chopping? Well, up here. Uh, what's that point? If I plugged in, this is four. So if x is 4, then what's y? Well, I suppose it is 2. So this is the point 2. So I'm integrating from 0 to 2. And then what goes inside of my integral is 2 pi r h. So 2 pi r. And in this case, if I'm just sitting at some y value, with a shell right here, then how far is it to the center of the shell? Well, if I'm sitting at y, it's y to the center of the shell. In other words, my radius is y. And then I need the height of that typical shell. The height of this shell is the top function, which is the function on the right, minus the bottom function, which is the function on the left. Well, the top function is this x equals 4. So I get 4 minus the bottom function. The bottom function is y equals the square root of x. But I certainly don't want to put square root of x in there. I need y stuff in there. So I need to solve that for x. So if I have uh, y is equal to the square root of x, that means that x is equal to y squared. So I put in y squared dy. <coughs> Now we're ready to integrate this thing. I have 2 pi r h. So let's do it. Pull out the 2 pi. And uh, I still want an integral sign. I'm not quite ready to integrate. I get 0 to 2 of 4y minus y cubed dy. Take an antiderivative here, and I get 2 pi times antiderivative of 4y would be 2y squared. Antiderivative of negative y cubed is negative 1 fourth y to the fourth. And I'm going to evaluate that from 0 to 2. Let's plug in our values. I get 2pi times 
plugging in 2, I get 2 squared, which is 4 times 2, which is 8. Then I get 2 to the 4th, which is 16 divided by 4, which is minus 4. And then I could plug in 0, and I get 0 minus 0. So that's it. I get 2 pi times 8 minus 4, which is 4 times 2 pi, or 8 pi. So the volume of the shape that I get when I rotate here is 8 pi. And if you want to see what the rotation would look like, it would look sort of like this. And maybe something like a bullet or uh, some sort of an ellipsoid cut in half, something like that.